Hi there, welcome to QA Box Let's Test. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, kindly do so. And if you like the video, give them the thumbs up. All right, so in this video, we are going to talk about mocks, right? So, so what is a mock? So mocks are, you know, a different approach to stubs. Um, sentence mock can be used to replace the whole object and alter their behaviors similar to stubbing functions. So they are primarily useful if you need to stub more than one function from a single object. If you only need to replace a single function, um, go for stub because uh, it's easier to use. All right. So take care when using mocks because they're very powerful and you know they mock the whole object and therefore it is easy to make your test over specific uh, means like you know uh, test too many or test too specific things which risk making your test unintentionally brittle so unlike um, spies and stubs you know mocks have assertion built built in so you define your expected result upfront by telling the mock object what needs to happen and then uh, calling the verification function at the end of the test all right so let's see that in action so what i've done is i've again created this class pretty simple straightforward so these are four methods like sum sub multiplication division self-explanatory and then i've created one more method in here print high right all this method is doing is uh, printing whatever message that we are uh, passing in here all right to the console so this is the normal test case i've imported this um, object in here and if you run this object now so we'll see that first the high will be printed all right and then uh, if we just print this console like this then the result will also be printed all right so i'm not concerned about printing the sum value but let us see if we run this now what will happen so when we execute this so you could see that QA box is printed because we are passing in this value, right? So now what I want is when I invoke this particular method, right? Uh, this method should not be uh, invoked. In fact, you know, my mock should come into picture and whatever expectations that I have should be met. So let's see that how, how can we implement this? So it's, it's very simple. So we have to say let mock is equal to synen dot mock and here you could see that you know we are going to mock the complete object right so you are going to pass the object in here so what object user of uh, uh, sorry what is the name of the object i've used it's my calc right so i'm going to say my calc right and then the next thing that you have to do is you have to mention your expectations all right so we are going to say expectation is equal to mock dot expect okay and then you are going to say the name of the method right which needs to be mocked okay so we are going to mock this particular method all right the next thing that we have to do is we are going to say expectation dot exactly so we are expecting that this method is called exactly once and the second expectation that i have is that it is called with args all right we have seen that in the previous video called args and we are going to pass in qa box okay so this is my expectation now what about the assert so assert is expectation dot verify means verify all my expectation when this method is being invoked right so let us execute that and see if this is still being printed or not all right so you could see that qa box is no longer printed onto the console you can read more about mocks on synon js.org website so find this page mock synon.js and read do some reading on here
and you could see there are different properties we have covered this expectations restore is you know we've covered that that's a common case right we have to do it with spy we have to do it with stub and mocks as well right mock verify we've already done that you can use mock promises and you know expectation once at most at least so yeah that's about uh, mocks thank you so much